I Dream of Indie. Hello, hitchhikers. It's Silent Signs from I Dream of Indie. Today we are taking a look at Road 96, which is a procedural narrative adventure game. In Road 96, you are playing as a unseen and unnamed protagonist who is trying to escape a country that is in some serious political turmoil. You're trying to make it to the border without being caught. But of course, you have limited money, limited energy, limited resources in general, so it will be no easy task and will often involve leaning on the kindness of strangers and at the same time, not letting your guard down because you honestly never know who you can really trust. Because of those limited resources, a lot of your travel will be done via hitchhiking and walking and you'll encounter some colorful characters along your journey. The really interesting part about this game is that every journey is going to be different. You're going to encounter people in different orders and in different situations. Each journey will also vary in how close you are to the border, how much money you have in the bank, and how much energy you have to expend. The outcome of each run is going to depend on the decisions you make, the interactions you have with others, and how well you manage those resources. Sources. Those decisions are going to be everything from whether or not you pick up and eat a moldy hamburger on the side of the road, or whether you are going to take a political stance in this completely fabricated political landscape. As far as gameplay goes, it's really quite intuitive. You're just controlling your unseen character via first person. You'll also have a cursor to select dialogue options, as well as pick up various objects. Each journey to the border is probably going to take you under an hour hour, but you do get skills along the way that actually carry over to your next run. You can also find and collect cassette tapes, which you can play at any cassette player that you happen to stumble across. Did I mention the year is 1996? The folks that you'll meet on your journey are connected in more ways than one, and you'll see a percentage of their story each time that you go through the game. In order to get the full story on any one individual, you'll definitely have to do multiple runs. As far as the story goes, the game held my attention well enough. I really like the idea of playing as this one character that's encountering all of these other individuals within the same sphere. The political tension definitely feels very real to me. However, the actual interactions between characters felt a little bit stilted. It just wasn't quite as lifelike as I would have liked it to be. Not necessarily the believable scenarios that you would want from a game that's really trying to make a statement. The game in some aspects really seems to take itself quite seriously, but in others is completely making a joke out of certain types of individuals. It's almost a caricature. For example, the news anchor that you come across Cross. She's just so full of herself and it's just a little bit too over the top. It kind of just leaves you wondering what's supposed to be taken seriously, what's supposed to be taken as satire, and where is this game supposed to fall in general? It does weigh heavy on the politics. However, you are given the option to stay kind of independent or neutral, so I did appreciate that option. Graphically, we did run Road 96 at max settings, and this is what that looks like. Like, so you can kind of draw your own conclusions from there. I didn't think it looked breathtaking by any means. It's certainly passable. It's a style for sure. It reminds me of the early Telltale games where the character designs are just a little bit blocky in my opinion. Animations are also pretty stiff and the textures are pretty low res. But the game's not really about graphical prowess by any means. It's more about the story and the narrative and the decisions that you make on your journey. I do also have to mention, because I like to play as much of the game as I possibly can before I put out a review of it, I was going in today to play some more of Road 96, and whatever the latest update was that came out, completely broke my game. I'm not able to get back in. It won't load. I was stuck on a load screen. I tried rebooting Steam. I tried reinstalling the game. Nothing fixed it. I'm fairly certain that this will be straightened out by the time that you're able to download it, but it did unfortunately impact my ability to see more of this title, so I can only go based off of what I was able to play. 
As far as sound design, it is fully voice acted and the voice acting is pretty good. It's also got a really catchy, mostly kind of electronic synthwave soundtrack. It's heavily influenced by, I'd say, 80s and 90s music, which is the setting of the game. Though I do have to mention, it doesn't seem as though the music plays throughout. There were moments of silence in my gameplay where I could just hear the sound effects, which were also pretty good. I'm not sure if there's an option in the menu to play music outside of the tape decks in those kind of scenarios where you're able to use a cassette player. I couldn't go back in and check, so let me know, I guess. Overall, I'd say Road 96 is a unique narrative experience. It certainly has a story to tell. It just doesn't feel like it's fully come to its final form. I love the concept. I love that you start as this nameless character that's on this quest to the border, this quest to freedom. I like that every run's going to be different. I think what Road 96 shows me is a ton of potential for what could be from this developer in the future. Okay, so Mitch is case out the place. We need to be real quiet. Really? Now shut your trap. Here comes Mitch. Okay, okay. From what I can tell, the place is empty. Yeah, this should be a piece of cake. So will you be sticking your thumb out for Road 96? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I go, I just want to thank our indie warriors, Mitchell Hall, Bunny Kevalo, Bill Tikaz, Christian Cruz, Strick9, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Peach, Adriana Amato, CJR, Falco Lombardi, C Coil, Skeptism, Jen Rose, Jesse, CPM, Julian Coldis, and JRS8. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget you can subscribe down below so you don't miss any reviews or previews, and check out the description box for a bunch of other ways to support the channel as well. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.